Goombas and Inklings, Pikmin of all ages, Linkage 264 here. Welcome to my room. You like my new intro? Hoo hoo boy, we sure got quite a topic of discussion for today. Miiverse is now dead. Well, to be spe specific, it's not quite dead yet, but it will be dead on November 7th of 2017. For that, on the fifth anniversary of Miiverse, is when Nintendo is shutting down the, the social media platform on both the Wii U and all the 3DS systems. There's an entire page about this detailing a lot more about it than I'm going to go into in this video on Nintendo's site, which I will link down in the description, but let's go a few over of the more important details right here. So like I said, it's going to be shutting down on November 7th, 2017 at 10 p.m. Pacific time. After that time, no one will be able to access Miiverse. Post, comment, any of it. It'll just show an error sign if you try and access it. But speaking of that, even after November 7th, 2017, the Miiverse icon will still be shown on the Wii U and 3DS home screen, which is incredibly weird to me. I mean, if you're getting rid of the site itself, why keep the icon? But hey, their decision, I guess. There will be a bunch of games that will be losing quite a few features due to this loss of Miiverse, including Super Mario Maker, Mario vs. Donkey Kong, Splatoon, Smash Brothers, Mario Kart 8, Super Mario 3D World, and Xenoblade Chronicles X. And I'm not going to go into all the details of what's going to be missing here, but you could check it out on their site. Sum it up to say that there is a lot of things that won't be available in the game. For example, in Super Mario Maker, users will still be able to share levels, but there will be no commenting. Which really kind of stinks, because commenting on other people's levels was generally the way that users were able to get user feedback and kind of reshape their levels into something a little bit more easily accessible. Moving on, the Wara Wara Plaza on the Wii U. You remember that one little weird area that would show on the uh, main hub screen where you could like see all these different Miis running around in different games? Well, that's gone as well. It's going to resort back to the default Miiverse posts that appear during offline mode. And, well, that's gonna look kind of lame every time I boot up my Wii U, but I guess that's to be expected. Miiverse is not the only thing leaving though. The Wii U chat app will also be leaving the Wii U the same day that Miiverse closes down. I used this app probably a total of three times and I completely forgot about it. The resolution on the Wii U's camera is absolutely terrible, so it wasn't even worth trying to use that app, quite honestly. Probably the most interesting detail out of this is that you, you, if you want to, you can actually message Nintendo. You can, no, 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 you can visit a site that Nintendo has created called Miiverse.Nintendo.net and register before the Miiverse service ends. And then, a couple weeks after the Miiverse service ends, they will send you all the posts that you made while you were on Miiverse. Not all the comments, and not all the comments on the posts that you made, but they will send you every drawing, every um, post that you made about a certain game, every screenshot that you took, directly to your inbox, which I think is a kind of cool touch to to uh, send Miiverse out of the way. You get to keep all the very limited memories you probably had. In a final statement, Nintendo says that there will not be a similar service, at least in the foreseeable future, replacing Miiverse on the Nintendo Switch. They are just going to stick with Facebook and Twitter as the primary ways to post your whatever you want to post. So there you have it guys, after five years, Miiverse is shutting down. While the service itself rarely worked in a very practical way, there were a few exceptions that I actually kind of liked about the Miiverse service. One of those being Super Mario Maker, another being Splatoon. Um, and sometimes it actually, despite all the criticism it gets, it was actually kind of helpful for getting through a game finding someone who was stuck in the same part as you, and getting some help, even though you could have just gone to some place like GameFAQs. But, needless to say, Miiverse shined it sometimes, although it did not most of the time. Anyways, guys, let me know down in the comments what you think about Miiverse, about it shutting down. Did you ever really use Miiverse that much, or were you in the camp like me, where you just 
didn't get the point at all. Anyways, guys, what are you still doing here?